Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Sadri, board-certified ophthalmologist here in Newport Beach, California. I'm just delighted to be here with you, talking to you about different topics. Today's topic we're going to be talking about is called a sty, or in medical terms, chalazion. And you get this all the time in the clinic. There's patients come in that describe a little bump on the eyelid, usually in the upper or lower eyelid. The onset is acute, so it's not chronic in nature, and typically comes and goes, and can be really annoying and sometimes painful. The typical question is, well, why is this? Why am I getting this? And I get them all the time. And what are some remedies for both non-medical and also medical? It's important to understand what Chalazian is or what we call sty is. And there's different subtypes. For the sake of this video, we're not going to describe all the subtypes here, but we're going to talk about as a group. It's essentially when the eyelid glands get plugged up and get micro-infections. And this micro-infection can lead to a cyst that hurts or it's often small, medium, or large. And it can present usually acutely or suddenly. This is not the type that's kind of a little lesion on the eyelid that's associated with a chronic placement. And the reason is because that's a whole other category that we have to make sure that we rule out malignancies. But typically these present over a few weeks, they hurt, patients have a history of them, they can happen all four lids. And typically what I hear in my clinic is, why does this happen to me? Am I doing anything wrong? How can I get rid of it? And more importantly, how can I prevent it? Well, the homeopathic or regular therapy for when we have a plugged up gland is very similar. Number one is baby shampoo when showering. Number two, hot compress. And number three, you may need a bacterial antibiotic. And you can buy those now over the counter. And let's talk about that. The reason we use a hot compress is because that allows the pores to open up and allows for these glands to work properly. And essentially what happens is these, when the glands don't work properly, they get infected from the normal bacterial flora on the eyelashes. And we prevent, not treat, that using the shampoo and also the hot compress. Once you get it, those two treatments are not gonna really do anything. We have to treat it potentially medically. And depending on the size, if it's a small, otherwise painless sort of chalazian or what we call sty, we can use the first two remedies plus the antibiotic ointment to treat it. And that typically takes care of it. If it's medium or large, you may need to be on oral antibiotics. And if it's really big, then we might have to do incision and drainage in the clinic. Typically those are rare, but they can occur. The other subtype is the ones that come and go and the change in size and the patients describe them as coming and going. Sometimes what we could do is inject a little steroid in them as well and all of that's done in the office. But the biggest factor is how do I make sure it doesn't come back? I think the biggest thing is baby shampoo, hot compress, religiously. And it's kind of annoying, but some people just have the genetic makeup for it as well the type of skin type, this happens to the lid anatomy. So we really wanna encourage patients to prevent this issue from coming back. And the way we do that is by using different modalities like we've described to prevent that from coming back. As always, we're here for you for any questions or comments you may have in the comment section. Please don't forget the subscribe button and the like button and uh, we'll be here for you.